Welcome dear students. In this video lecture, we are going to solve a numerical which is asked in GTU question paper of 1st January 2022 and 7th September 2021. The same numerical asked in both the question paper in the same question that is question 3 C or part. So let's start with the data given over here. In a thermal power plant, heat loss is to be minimized in 240 millimeter steam main pipe which is 210 meter long and is covered with the two insulation material first is of 50 millimeter of high temperature insulation which is having a thermal conductivity of 0.092 watt per degree centigrade meter and the second layer is of 40 millimeter of low temperature insulation with a thermal conductivity of 0.062 watt per degree centigrade into meter. The inner and outer surface temperature are measured as 390 degree centigrade and 40 degree centigrade respectively. Neglect the heat conduction through the pipe material and determine the total heat loss per hour, the temperature between the two insulation layer. So students, first of all, we understand what exactly the numerical is. So let us prepare the schematic diagrams for a given circuits or for a given case. So here one pipe is there which carries a steam and it is a main pipe which is used in a, a thermal power station. The diameter of the pipe is given that is a 240 millimeter. This pipe is covered with a two insulation layer. The first layer is having this thickness this thickness let's say is a t1 which is of a 50 millimeter so this thickness is of 50 millimeter the second layer of insulation is also there which is having a thickness of this is t2 of 40 millimeter after understanding of this schematic uh, we just write down the given data so here the diameter of pipe is given which is a 240 millimeter it means the radius 1 for pipe is becomes 120 millimeter so let's say is represent over here it is uh, our r1 this is r1 here this is our r2 so the thickness of the first insulation layer that is T1 which is equals to 50 millimeter. So R2 is becomes 120 plus T1 which is equals to 120 plus 50 millimeter. So it becomes 170 millimeter. The thickness of second layer is also given which is T2 and it is 40 millimeter. So the radius 3 is becomes R2 plus T2 which is 170 plus 40 so this becomes a 210 millimeter. So here our R3 is 210 millimeter. The thermal conductivity of layer 1 which is indicated by K1 is 0.092 watt per degree centigrade meter the thermal conductivity of the second layer is 0.062 watt per degree centigrade meter the temperature of the surface that inner surface is 390 and the outer surface that is indicated by t3 is 40 degree centigrade so the temperature of the first layer that t1 here interface we indicate with the T2 and the outer layer is a T3. Now we make an electrical analogy uh, for solving this problem. So here let's say this is a temperature T1, this is temperature T2 and here it is temperature T3. So there is a insulation of first layer having some thermal resistance and second layer is also having a thermal resistance. Let's indicate with R1 and R2. So where R1 is becomes a 1 upon 2 pi K1 L into Ln R2 by 
R1 as our geometry is a cylindrical one so we need to apply this formula similarly for second case it is K2L ln R3 by R2 here the length of pipe is also given which is a 210 meters so in this way uh, we are going to solve this numerical and we need to find first that rate of the heat loss as well as the interface temperature that is T2. So let's start with the uh, heat loss calculations. So first we calculate the heat loss. So we apply the equations of Q which is equals to R1 plus R2 and R1 having a value of 2 pi K1 L into ln r2 by r1 plus 1 upon 2 pi k 2 l ln r3 by r2 and here we have this t1 minus t3 so now we put it down the value that uh, temperature of outermost surface is 390 and another temperature is 40 degree here we have the 2 pi is a constant and first layer of the thermal conductivity is 0 0.092 and the length is 210 uh, radius we have 170 r2 and r1 is 120 plus uh, another uh, insulation is having the thermal conductivity of 0 0.062 into the length uh, multiplied with the ln uh, the outer radius is 210 and the inner radius for the second layer is 170 so by solving this uh, equation we get the value of q that is 64302.65 watt on the other unit we can write as a 64.30 kilowatt now students we are going to calculate the interface temperature that is second things that we need to calculate so the temperature of interface so let we apply the equations for only r1 so we get t1 minus t2 divided by the first resistance that is 1 upon 2 pi k1 l ln r2 by r1 so let we apply the formula here we know that the value of q is 64302.5 the temperature of the inner surface is 390 t2 is unknown to us and we need to find it out it and here we have 1 upon 2 pi k and the thermal conductivity is 0 0.09 and the length is 210 uh, the radius is 170 and inner radius is 120 so by solving this equation we get that 183.90 which is equals to 390 minus t2 so finally we get t2 is equals to 206.09 degrees centigrade so this is our second answer so students in this way we are able to solve this numerical thank you thank you for watching this video